I believe that we are ready to answer. Okay. Hello, Karsten Philip Garber. Okay. Can you say hi to your supporters? Hi everyone, especially to my sister that I'm absent pa talaga. <laughs> especially to my classmates too, I love you all. Especially to all of you. Everyone, everyone here. I love everyone here, thank you. Okay. That's it. Are you now ready to answer the final question? Yes. Okay. This time, again, I would like to, we would like to remind again our audience to keep silence and decency so that we can hear the response of our real candidate. All right, let's do this. Okay. Karsten, I will repeat the question twice so you have to listen. Here is the final question. The Philippines is host to the 2023 FIBA World Cup a basketball tournament organized by the International Basketball Federation, or IDF, and features national teams from around the world competing for the World Championship. How can sports events such as this promote a more inclusive sense of nationalism among the youth in the Philippines? I repeat, the Philippines is host to the 2023 FIBA World Cup, a basketball tournament organized by the International Basketball Federation, or IBF, and features national teams from around the world competing for the World Championship. How can sports events such as this promote a more inclusive sense of nationalism among the youth in the Philippines? We have one minute to answer. One of the most beautiful things in sports is that it, fester, uh, it fosters creativity, competitiveness, and the spirit of camaraderie. Now, with this, it's very simple, really. When you're in the court, when you're playing basketball, or when you're in the soccer field, you're playing soccer, you're no longer American, you're no longer Filipino, you're no longer Tausuk, you're no longer Bisaya, you're no longer anything else, you are a competitor. And I believe that it can, uh, sports like this can foster nationality because when you're in that court, you are no longer anything else. You are a competitor. You are, when you represent the Philippines, you are no longer Tausuk, you're no longer Bisaya, you are no longer Chilamacano. You are a Filipino. You represent the Philippines with your pride, with your joy, with your passion, with the fullness of your heart and your soul. And that's why I believe that these types of sports will always, always foster the nationalism in, our Filip uh, in the Philippines. And I thank you. That's it. Just on time. Well, I think you very much. Our last finalist, the candidate number 21.